I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to talk about two other methods for staging your prostate cancer. They are transrectal MRI and color Doppler ultrasound. Both techniques are used to try and help determine is the cancer inside the prostate or has it grown outside the prostate. Now, it's easy to do these tests. There is some expense. It's important that the person doing them has a lot of experience in interpreting them. But even under the most ideal circumstances, only a very few men are likely to benefit. Perhaps only five men out of a hundred will get additional useful information to be used in planning their therapy. More than 80% of the patients diagnosed today are not even good candidates to have this test because the information is not likely to be very useful. The good thing about the test is if it's accurate, if it's correct, it may give you a little bit more information about where your cancer is located. The bad thing, however, is it can give you misinformation, meaning that it can tell you your cancer is inside the prostate when indeed it's growing through the wall, or more problematic, is it may tell you that it's outside the prostate when in fact the cancer is still completely localized inside the capsule. So both false positives and false negatives can occur. Really the most important reason why I do not order this test, why I would not do this test for myself, is the following. Suppose I was told that there appeared to be some cancer growing outside the prostate. How would that influence your decision on what to do? Bottom line, it wouldn't influence it very much. There's no evidence that the treatment that you would use under one circumstance would necessarily change under a different circumstance. All the treatment options, which I'll discuss in another video, are the same. They are unchanged. The issues surrounding those decisions are unchanged. So I believe that we can get enough useful information today from a combination of your PSA, your clinical stage, and your Gleason score. Those three things will help most of the people who are diagnosed with the disease to understand the stage of their disease. These other tests, while can be used, I do not believe are worth your considering. You may hear different arguments for and against them, but in the end, the information that you get will not be that useful and it may be incorrect. And hopefully, we'll be able to discuss more about this in further videos. Thank you.